Hello and welcome back, as always my name is Lazar and today we are checking out the gameplay preview for Torbjorn, a defense role in Overwatch. As always we are gonna go over the character's abilities and the actual story behind him. First off, Torbjorn's weapon is a rivet gun, fires rivets at long range or ejects molten metal from his gun in a short close range burst. Yes, kinda like a shotgun. So left click, long range, right click, shotgun like, close range. On your number 2 key you will switch to the forge hammer. Torbjorn uses this multi-purpose hammer to build, upgrade and repair turrets. In a pinch it can also be used as a melee weapon. His shift ability is build turret. Torbjorn constructs an enemy tracking auto cannon. He can use the scrap he collects from dead enemies and allies to repair or upgrade it, increasing its health and adding a second cannon barrel and an actual rocket launcher. His E ability is Armor Pack. Torbjorn deploys an armor upgrade either he or his allies can pick up to absorb some damage. His ultimate ability is Molten Core. After overheating his personal forge, Torbjorn gains a significant amount of armor and scrap. He also attacks, builds and repair turrets far faster during Molten Core. As for the actual story behind Torbjorn, this is what we know so far. At its height, Overwatch possesses one of the most advanced armaments on the planet, which could be traced to the workshop of an ingenious engineer named Torbjorn Lindholm. Before the Omni Crisis, Torbjorn had gained notoriety for designing weapon systems used by countries around the world. However, his belief that technology must serve a better vision for humanity put him at odds with his employers, who desired to control his weapons using network computer intelligence. Torbjorn had a deep mistrust of sentient robot intelligence, and while many of his peers wrote this off as paranoia, his worst fears were realized when the robot populations of the world turned against their human creators during the Omnic Crisis. Because of his engineering genius, he was recruited to join the original Overwatch Strike Team, and his many inventions proved integral to ending the crisis. In the years that followed, Overwatch became an international peacekeeping force, and Torbjorn remained a critical resource for all its technological needs and signature weapon systems. But in the aftermath of Overwatch's fall, many of Torbjorn's weapons were stolen or stashed away around the world. Feeling responsible for his creations, Torbjorn is determined to stop them from falling into the wrong hands and wreaking havoc on the innocent. So it's the same old story of good guy scientist makes weapons and then is surprised that they are used against humanity. Hmm, <laughs> go figure. Well that's gonna do it for now guys, but stay tuned for more content as it becomes available. As always, my name has been Lazar, thank you for watching, like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and I will definitely see you again soon.